Here, I brought you a carrot. Oh! I want a melon! Ah! For having your way! What up guys, it's Mark here for another MC PvP Hardcore Games. In this game, as usual, I'm here with this girl and the snail, and we're going to be playing some, uh, a, doing a Viper Cannibal Snail uh, team. I'm going to be playing as the Viper, the Squirrel is going to be playing as the uh, Cannibal, and then Snail, as you would guess, would be the Snail. So we're going to um, go and use this combo because it's an absolutely OP strategy um, that we like to use. Obviously, you know, Cannibal gives the person hunger, and then Viper gives them poison, and then Snail obviously makes them slower. So, you know, it's, <laughs> it's just uh, during a fight, it's completely impossible for someone to take you on. So anyway, right here, as usual, we find a jungle, swamp, whatever, at the moment we've got a swamp, we've got some coca beans, got about a hot bar of soup. I see a guy right over there, and so we just start to um, get, make sure we've got everything together, and then uh, go to pursue him. So now we'll find him and just kills him off quite quickly, he didn't have any soup, and obviously he was just trying to get some materials together, so that gave us a little bit of an extra hand, uh, got some coca beans, etc. Got some extra balls there. Um, and then we start tracking I Dennis. Um, he's right down here, just crafting a pack so it gets him unawares. He goes quite quickly. He also didn't have any cocoa beans, which is rather annoying. So we continue on through the jungle. I hate navigating through jungles or wood biomes in general. It just is really, really annoying. Anyway, we continue through this snow forest. I want to come across this guy who's got a monk stick or a, maybe a knock or maybe a pickpocket stick. Anyway, he goes up here and I decide not to in case it's a trap of some sort, so in case he could knock me off. So we go around, there's a guy around the side of the tree, so we start chasing him around the tree, which is a bit stupid when he's behind me because he's just running around the tree. So we turn around to fight him. Obviously, he was a Viking, it took him out quite easy. Um, obviously, it wasn't hard to take out, but then this guy with the pickpocket stick came out. I think he was trying to pickpocket me, but you know, we got an easy combo on him as he was doing that. As you can clearly see, the only downside to this strategy that we're doing is the fact that uh, you do get cannibaled and snailed and vipered by each other. And you know, can, that's the only disadvantage to this strategy if you're not careful when you're hitting your sword. Anyway, over here there's like a similar trap going on with two people who just come in, they don't have any soup, so you know they die quite easily. I don't know what the stair idea was, whether it's just to get in the tree or whatever, but anyway, they didn't have much, they just had a load of junk. But uh, anyway, we continue on. And then right about here, the squirrel gets comboed by a spider, and we don't know what to do, we think he's gonna die because it's very bad. So anyway, he just now tries to get rid of this damn bit to try and. Uh, stop things from happening but uh, we kill them off and they continue on so as we come around here I just have more too and we keep going on and to our left we have Fifi New 3 and he has got a iron sword and iron chest plate which we weren't expecting so we decided to combo him there's also a guy behind him who comes to try and help us out and kill us he wants obviously he wants the uh, iron himself anyway squirrel goes for him and then me and, uh, and me and the snail go for the guy with the iron we get here rid of him and we get a bit of iron and we get enough for a um iron sword two iron swords for each of us so um that's kind of useful got a bit of food had a little bit of soup we had very little soup but the good thing about the food is that we could now regenerate our hunger regenerate our hearts so we didn't have to eat the soup which, so we could save what we had so i had about a hot bar and a little bit like you know, two um obviously it wasn't you know quite enough soup so we carry on you know hoping we're going to find some sort of swamp or someone with a lot of soup that could help us out because obviously you know that wasn't going to be enough for the whole game when we come down here, I think we come across this swamp of three guys in the ground there that were down that cave. We see the swamp, we're like, yes, swamp! And you know in the, a new update that there is a wall normally, and in this in, in the update there wasn't a wall there, so we couldn't get the mushrooms for some reason, because apparently it was too near to the border. Anyway, these guys were digging and mi strip mining by the look of it for some iron, so um, what we decided to do is go down by water, so um, we just dig away at this water here. And we'd say we're going to go all down and <laughs> try and take them on. So we wait for the water to go down, then we all go down. And this is normal speed, by the way. So we go down pretty fast. I was quite surprised how fast we were going down. Anyway, we get to here and we thought, oh, they're in here. No, they're not in there. So we thought we need to go deeper. Kept going down, and the snail comes across the first guy who's just in the tunnel there. He's just comboing him through. He goes and kills him, has to go back to regen. And then me and his girl go through to go into the next guy. 
Little tip, when you go through a um, anything that's two blocks high, keep pressing your space bar because you will move through it far faster because it's... Um, I don't know why it does, but if you just keep pressing your space bar, you move through two block high things under trees or whatever. It's really helpful for getting away from guys. Anyway, we see the last guy. He's deep in the, the uh, wall there, so we decide to get some picks and get ready to dig to him. I eat up, make sure I gen hearts. Now get some iron. Me and Peck go for the next guy. He's mining through when suddenly he's got a bow and arrow and he's just made a tunnel that he can shoot us down so what we decide to do is block that off and then we go Peck goes left, right even and I go left and then we decide to keep mining to him you know we weren't expecting it to be quite a hard fight as, as a archer we were assuming that uh, it's going to be you know well you know, it, it was the free kit at the moment we didn't expect to have much on him I mean, it's quite a cool strategy, I must say. I think they need to buff Archer, to be honest. Anyway, come around this corner. He's done the same here, trying to block us off. I try to get around this corner, and he tries to hit me through there. So I continue through. I'll go that way. I'll go this way. Uh, I think he's concentrating more on uh, Peck at this point. So I come through here. Obviously shifting, so he can't see our names. And then I come open up here, and Brad, motherfucker, come through. He's here, and he goes. So that's it for that team of three. We've got all our iron plus a little bit of iron here. So we mine this all up and then head back to the furnaces to see what we've got. So we've got quite a lot of iron. Uh, we sort of gear up and well, I was actually quite surprised at the amount of iron we actually um, had. We had, uh, I think we had almost full each. We had, definitely had legs and chest plates each, uh, which was kind of handy. We didn't realise, but uh, there was in fact one more guy at the game at this moment. Obviously, we got a little bit more soup from those guys, uh, turns out. So we had just under a, a uh, full entry. No making materials, because we were kind of limited. This game was um, not with a lot of soup, but, you know, now there's a team, uh, so team of three with sniper. I keep saying sniper, I need to fix that. Viper, cannibal, and snail. You know, we need to, um, you know, we weren't expecting that uh, Ibrabri, or whatever his name is, was going to take us on. So anyway, we go back up before, as you can see, the now is falling behind because it's so slow. Skip it now. Anyway, we go through and uh, we decide to go to the feast because it's just been announced. Um, and, you know, if we see the guy on the way there, perfect, we can take him on. Uh, one thing, you know, we obviously had no idea what he got. We weren't expecting him to have to take on all of us, considering we got almost full iron each. Plus, we got soup. Obviously, we weren't sure how much soup he had, though, because um, that might have changed the game for us. But anyway, um, we come through here, and uh, we're just going to the feast. Uh, we're not, <laughs> we weren't really expecting him to um, come part. Anyway, we come through here, and... Um, of the snow forest. When I get attacked from behind, we didn't even see this coming. I sue quite quickly during this because he gets a good combo on me. Um, you gotta get cannibal by this. Now, this is the only downside to the blue kit strategy. I have to go through here just to reshoot real quick and then I come back in to help. Obviously, the good thing about this kit strategy, he had a, uh, I think he must have a sharpness sword, which is kind of annoying, but you know, the good thing about our kit strategy is the fact that, you know, being cannibal, viper, and snail, it was basically impossible for this guy to get away to resoup. I've got to say, though, got to hand it to him, he did tank this damage extremely well. We did not find this easy, folks, um, but he did, um, you know, we, we didn't have as much soup as him, having said that, but anyway, you know, we get combo into through here, you know, he's getting good hits on us, to be fair, but... You know, I don't think uh, it was matched to the fact that we could take them on. Snail was almost dying at this point. The good thing about our new, the new teaming thing on MC PvP is the fact to the right, you can see that we can see our names and how much life each has got. So, the weakest one we can take on. Anyway, that guy was struggling to resoup. He obviously ran out. Couldn't get away to resoup because obviously he was absolutely, uh, you know, done. If he'd lasted a little bit longer, he probably would have given me, you know, got rid of me. I only had a little bit of soup left. Um, he should have just kept going, I think, but oh well. Yeah, but as I was saying, the life on the uh, right, that's so handy because then we can see who's weakest. Um, anyway, we, that guy turned out to have quite a lot of soup, um, so we all took that. And obviously, it's just us three left, so we thought, right, let's go to the feast then, and then we can um, decide what's going to happen. Now, we have a rule with the feast when we get it. We get what we see, so we, you know, if you get like full diamond, we, we don't share it unless we've got stuff to share. So... You know, it's easy for someone to become extremely OP without, you know, even thinking about it. So, you know, for example, Poncha does grab a strength pot in this. I grab the T and some of the TNT. Um, suit's probably the most important thing, but food. Uh, I've got a diamond sword right there. I only got some diamond legs, though, so I wasn't particularly as armoured up as the others. 
Um, a peck there, got a bit of diamond chest plate, diamond boots. Uh, I think I managed to get a helmet there. It was quite degraded, but nonetheless, still a helmet. Uh, Pot and Chip put some TNT and some, uh, and we put some TNT and spider webs down because we like to have a little arena when we fight. The rule was not to leave the feast. Um, so we light up the feast. We've got these little pits so we can just pummel each other into those just to annoy each other, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we decide to go right here. Anyway, I go for Snail to start off with, and he then. Um, Starts running because I don't know what his plan was, but anyway, he, I had a bit of lag there. But anyway, he carries on through Snail, and then Screw Up comes after me. I'm like, no, oh, over now. And no, it's now he gets his strength pot and strength pot. So I thought he was running after me, but it turns out he's running after the Screw Up at this point. So I just, you know, see he's not behind me. He's running after him over there, like, oh, got you. So I go this way and um, try and avoid the combat. I don't really want to fight him while he's got. Um, Strength only. Snail put him in lava. I throw a poison pot at him just to try and keep him back. Anyway, he's got strength. He's doing quite a lot of damage, so I just thought I need to get out of this hole, otherwise, he's just going to come mow me through here. Go out. Girl gets in the pit and just owns him. So I think, no, while you're weak, I'm going to take you on. So I uh, come in straight away. He falls in this hole. I thought he was going to get a combo on me. Cannibal was the worst thing. I thought he was going to win because of Cannibal. Cannibal is so hard. I get in the hole. I'm getting a great combo on him. He wasn't getting any hits on me at this moment. He, I get him to this corner. He gives the soup. And unfortunately, he dies, leaving me with the win there. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, sped up to the kit strategy uh, with the Cannibal Viper Snail. It's a really OP tactic. You should try it with your friends because it's crazy. Um, it's just too OP for me. I wouldn't be able to take on a team doing this. Um, please like, subscribe. I need to expand my channel a bit more. And um, leave a comment because I do read them, you know, guys. Just leave a comment right there, right now. Leave, leave a comment. I'm going to break your bottle of what? No, I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> just, uh, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. Bye.